Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about charcoal adsorption canisters. Those were fitted to the MGBs and the midgets from 1970 to 1980. Remember that prior to the charcoal canister, the gasoline tanks uh, had a vent in the cap because as you, use, as you use the gasoline, air has to go into the tank to replace the gasoline that's been taken out or the tank implodes. Um, in 1970, instead of having a hole in the, in the filler cap, instead we have the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister allows air to come in and out of the tank. Into the tank to replace the gasoline that's been used, but out of the tank when, oh, say you, you fill up in August and you've got 60 degree gasoline in your tank, and you go out and park on the hot tarmac, that gasoline's going to expand. When it expands, it's going to push up and, and we're going to have the air fuel sitting on top of the tank wanting to get out into the atmosphere. Can't do that. Government says can't have air fuel. We don't want hydro, un, unburned hydrocarbons in the atmosphere. So it goes through the charcoal ad, AD, adsorption canister. We're going to take that apart right now. I'm just finishing a set of kingpins for a very patient customer, Mr. George. These are all nice and... Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the charcoal canister. So just, uh, this came out of a 1976 MGB. We can probably get the hoses off relatively easily. By uh, pulling the clamps off. Ah, look at this. Look at this. So when this thing went over to the top of the engine, he can get kinked. So how can we keep this from getting kinked? It's the old screen door spring trick. So go, go to your hardware store, find a screen door spring that will fit inside, the, uh, an expansion spring that will fit inside the hose that you've got. And you can take this and twist it into a pretzel and it will not kink because the spring holds it open. Anyway, we're just going to take this guy apart here. It is never necessary to buy a new canister. Never. So we're going to take our canister apart. Down here at the bottom we get a spring that presses up against this, this plastic piece here. And this guy is held in place. Well, this, this guy is in tough shape. So here we go. Here we have open cell foam. And we can see that the open cell foam has failed. You can see the holes through the open cell foam here. You can see the holes. That means that the charcoal can dance down this tube here and dance into the anti run on valve and keep the anti run on valve from closing. So before starting this, we should have had some, oh my gosh, look at this stuff, it's just falling apart, this old, this old foam, oh my gosh. So anyway, here's the charcoal. It's just like fish charcoal, and it's just activated charcoal. And then up at the top is another grid and some more open cell foam. This open cell foam has also failed. It's got a particular odor to it. Now we're going to activate the charcoal. That's going to be the fun part here. So we can, we can clean out the inside of here with a rag. You know, you wash it if you want. It's, uh, wash, the, uh, wash the outside of it. Sometimes if you hit it with uh, WD-40, this is our type of WD-40, you can get it cleaned up and it'll leave a sheen on it that uh, looks, looks good. You can tell that this is shinier than this. So there's lots of different ways you can go, go at it with some real light, light, uh, oh, like steel wool or something and shine him up and get the junk off him so he looks real nice at, at the end. But here we've got our, our charcoal and because the charcoal adsorbs gasoline, it almost always catches fire. This hasn't got much gas in it. Now, if 
if we heat this up too much, it's just like a Weber grill, and the charcoal will start to burn by itself. We don't want the charcoal to burn. We're not cooking a, a chicken here. All we want to do is get the is get the uh, the gasoline burned off this. Now, if the flames get too much, you can always, you know, if they flame up too much, you can always put a rag on top and just put the fire out. I mean, if this is soaking in gasoline, I mean, help me out. We had uh, one experience at our old shop on Eastern Avenue where one of my guys took one of those things apart, put it on his workbench, hit it with a torch, and the flames went up about six feet and blew out the fluorescent lights. So you just have to be cautious. I got all these fire alarms here. All of a sudden I'm creeped about setting the fire alarms off with this fire going. But the point is, you keep turning this, you keep, you keep turning it until the fire extinguishes. But don't let the charcoal itself start to turn to ash. This is just charcoal. And the only thing that was burning here before was the gasoline. So you, you, just, you, you just, just spread it out and, and, and turn it. Wait for the gasoline to burn off. Once you can no longer light it, it's, it's all activated. And you can go ahead, use some new open cell foam, and put that on, on top of the screen. Up on top, the, the foam goes towards the charcoal. Put, put that in first, put the charcoal in, press this guy in, you know, with some new open cell foam on here. The spring, you know, comes against here and presses up against the, up against the holder and screwing back to, together. So repairing your charcoal canister is really, really easy and it's just not necessary to buy another one. Oh, sometimes, you know, if you've broken off the the ends here, something like, like that. Well, not here. I said it was easy, and I'm having a hard time getting this out. If you've broken the nipples off or something, well, sure, you can make a case for, for buying another one, but the new ones don't look like the original ones. And if you want to make sure that they're really, it's really sealed, you can put just a smear of clear silicone sealant on the bottom and, uh, and tighten it up when it's all, all done. And then it'll look great and work great. So I hope I've saved you a hundred bucks by not having you send off, especially the later model cars that have two charcoal canisters. Of course, my suppliers will be saddened now that the, the number of charcoal canisters that, the, that they're selling uh, plummets. Uh, these videos are popular, but not that, that, not that popular. Hey, thanks for all the notes that we've got on our uh, e-news. Uh, we just sent out n another one the other day. Uh, if you're not on our e-news, uh, go on our website, University Motors LTD, and sign up to get our e-newsletter. There's always fun stuff in there, little, uh, little stories about this and that, and stories about our customers, and always uh, something for sale. Anyway, thanks very much. See you soon.